In this greenhouse, hoverflies are feasting on canola flowers. Their progeny will be sent out to pollinate carrot crops this season. We'll build them up, um, hitting a target in December. So we'll have about two million flies going out onto the carrot crops. Hoverflies eat nectar and pollen. Their body hair catches the pollen and transfers it from flower to flower. We've um, proven through research that these flies work well in an open field on carrots. And um, yeah, so this year's we're just pushing out the commercialisation. Dr Rayleigh Rowbottom is part of the nationwide research team that's been investigating these alternative pollinators for the past seven years. They're on par with bees. They can do exactly the same amount of pollination in the system that we've tested so far as the bees do. Researchers have found that hoverflies and bees tolerate each other. In fact, they can work on the same flower at the same time. And as pressure grows on bees from things like varroa mite, these alternative pollinators will become more and more important. They could be a game changer for the professional pollinator industry. It's not a pest to livestock um, and it doesn't sting. So in environments which, such as covered cropping, um, they're a lot safer to work around for people. For seed companies relying on bees as pollinators, they're the perfect backup. Moving forward, um, the flies would be used as, a, as an insurance, if you like. So if uh, Varroa, um, say, came to Tasmania, we may have to do 100% germination with the flies. And as flies live around the crop and don't return to a hive, they're not at risk of Varroa mite infestation. Fiona Breen, ABC News.